Hello there, we're well into October now, my favourite time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. I love the changing colours and crunchy leaves in London and amazing Halloween stoops in New York. So even though I'm not in the Northern Hemisphere right now, that's where most of you are watching from, so I'm packing my bags for a mental trip through my makeup. I don't stick to certain colours during certain months, I definitely wear whatever I feel like year round, but I always feel so inspired by the change of seasons and channel those colours into my makeup bag. This video is sponsored by Squarespace part of my ongoing partnership with the website builder I used to create MatildaOnVideo.com this year. Now there's a new place to find all of my previous seasonal videos in one blog post. This year's autumnal edit is all about one of my favourite colour groups, Brownie Berry Tones. Fenty came up with a much better description, Cocoa Berry, Rare Beauty, call it Plum Brown, so you get the gist. You'll find a touch of copper and terracotta here too. You'll see the four new M Cosmetics Color Drops Serum Blush shades in an exciting new video soon, but my top pick for fall is Venetian Rose. If their original shade Rose Milk is my Kira Knightley walking through a field kind of color, this is my Kira Knightley Atonement Green Dress color. It is on another level. Such a stunning deep rose that is surprisingly pigmented. You can hear me rave about this super lightweight dewy formula in a longer review video last year and another one coming soon. Another recent sheer cheek favorite has been Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow in the shade Color of Dreams. I'd been keeping my fingers crossed for a new CT cream blush after some of her beach stick shades were discontinued and I missed her previous cream blush compacts in 2015. This one is limited edition inspired by her famous Pillow Talk lipstick and it also comes in a darker berry tone but I love how this slightly warm rose adds a sheer pop of color with quite a balmy finish. I really tap it into the skin to tone down that glossy sheen. Getting more peachy now with the Dahia Beauty Lip and Cheek Tint in Dreamer. What can I say? I'm nothing if not consistent when it comes to my love of muted peachy blushes. This formula can harden slightly in the pot, but warming it up with your fingertip reveals a soft cream underneath that blends well on cheeks, lips, and eyes. You'll see more from Dahia in an upcoming video on creamy multitaskers from small black owned brands. Finishing with one of the most talked about launches of the season. My Rare Beauty review finally went live earlier this week so you can hear more detail on the range there, but the Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush in Love was one of the highlights for me. A strong terracotta shade that isn't thick or heavy, it feels nice and light to work with, shears out evenly, and finishes with a smooth, powdery feel on the skin. Very pigmented, so remove the excess and start with one to two dots on your cheeks. I'm often in a much more maroon, rusty red, copper color mood, one of my favorite Violette FR phrases when it comes to autumn eye looks. A few creamy picks and a perfect palette here. Trini London's Eye to Eye formula has made quite a few appearances on my channel now, and the shade Fortitude from this year's Mother Earth Quartet screams autumn. This is a fiery, metallic, burgundy red cream shadow. So easy to build up for a really dramatic smoky eye, or sheer out so there's just a touch of colour coming through. If you prefer fuss-free eyeshadow sticks, I've been loving Laura Mercier's Caviar Stick in Desert Sand. I've liked this formula for a long time, but some recent shades really caught my eye. This colour actually popped up in one of Lisa Eldridge's lockdown videos. She applied it as a beautiful, barely there liner that instantly made her eyes pop. A shimmery copper, but it takes on more of an orange tone when you sheer it out. A palette pick I can't go past at the moment is Charlotte Tilbury's Walk of Shame, inspired by her beautiful rosy berry lipstick of the same name. I've had this for a while, so it still has the original name, but this color family was recently rebranded to Walk of No Shame. Less suggestive, but not necessarily that effective when the original name's been around since 2013. Still a beautiful combination of four shimmery shades. The two berry tones are absolutely beautiful and really define the eyes. An excellent brownie berry multitasker to finish. I've raved about the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte Tubes in a few recent videos. You can see eight shades compared in a previous video and many of them are a great fit for fall, but I really enjoy Brownie, a chocolatey brown with a hint of rosy berry when you shear it out. As you can see, these are incredibly pigmented, so the tiniest dot goes a very long way on your cheeks, eyes, and lips. 
Moving on to lipstick, and there are so many bullets that fit this season, I've split them into more pigmented, creamy formulas and sheer shades. Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Colour is one of my all-time favourite formulas, something I've sung the praises of for the past three years, but in August they released a Real Nudes collection with 10 new shades designed in consultation with real women to create a more diverse group of nudes for different skin tones. They're already out in Australia and the UK and should be coming to the US in early 2021. Brownie is a fantastic rosy berry for a natural, comfortable, blotted matte look straight from the bullet. One of Charlotte Tilbury's Love Filter Lipsticks Wedding Bells popped up in my new Everyday Makeup Routine video, but Mrs. Kisses is another shade I've been loving. The brand describes it as a golden, peachy pink, but it's quite dark and a really warm, toasted berry tone. Perfect fit for fall. This is in her regular Matte Revolution formula, another one of my top lipstick picks. I mentioned in my By Terry Top 10 video that these Rouge Expert Click Sticks are one of the brand's most underrated products in my opinion. They're a creamy, almost powdery matte on the lips, not drying, super pigmented, and the pointed teardrop shape can also be used as a liner first. The shade Pecan Nude is a striking, cool berry brown that definitely feels like fall. Balancing things out with a warm tone to finish, Rare Beauty's Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream in the shade Brave. I'll leave links below to Harry Makes It Up and Amanda Zed's Rare Beauty reviews so you can see how lovely this rich, warm, peachy brown looks on them. I love the air-whipped, powdery, barely there feel of this formula. More on this in my Rare Beauty review. Definitely a fairly familiar lip colour mood happening here compared to my last autumn makeup video in October 2019. If you want to see how this product edit compares to last season or get inspired for spring and summer if you're in Australia, you can find a new seasonal makeup blog post on matildaonvideo.com. I built my blog using Squarespace, the customizable website builder with so many different templates to choose from, and it's easy to insert YouTube videos so you can find every season in one spot. Leave me a comment and let me know if you'd like to see any other seasonal makeup up tips or topics on the blog. If you're setting up your own blog or website, Squarespace offer a free trial, then when you're ready to launch, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda for 10% off your first website or domain name purchase. Some quick sheer lip colours now if you're just after a hint of tint. After falling in love with Fenty's Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm this year, I was so excited to see three tints launch back in August. Let me know if you're interested in some swatches. Coco Drizzle, the darkest, is a very cool, deep brown that's certainly very sheer, so it just slightly tints my lips. I don't think I'm imagining it, but it seems to have more of a cocoa scent too. Time for the shade that introduced me to the term Cocoa Berry, way better than Brownie Berry, the Fenty Slip Shine Lipstick in Cookies and Cocoa. I go into a lot more detail on this formula and swatch all 10 shades in an earlier video. This is one of my favourites, a low-key berry with a hint of shimmer, nowhere near as noticeable as in other shades, but the artificial candy floral scent is pretty strong. Another rare beauty favourite, the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm shade Support. I love this rich rosewood colour, but I do mention in my review that this is the most tinted tinted balm I've ever seen. It's perfect if you want to create very intense, comfortable colour as you can see, but you definitely have to use a much lighter hand or pat it onto the lips if you do want a subtle sheer look. A gloss pick to finish, Pat McGrath Labs Lust Lip Gloss in Flesh 6. Flesh 4 was one of my autumn picks last year, a chocolatey brown, but Flesh 6 is a perfect rosy brown to round out the colour theme of this video. I can't say enough good things about this gloss formula. So creamy, so pigmented, not sticky, tasty vanilla scent, definitely one of my favourites from Pat McGrath. Couldn't resist a quick look at some of my favourite nail colours for the season too. Regular viewers might recognise all four of these from my videos. My nail polish shade is always listed in the description box each week. Olive and June's fall collection this year was a complete knockout, you can see them all swatched here, but I keep reaching for LD, the beautiful rosy berry I'm wearing in this video, and JJ, a cinnamon brown that has a perfect touch of berry. Then two Essie shades that always attract a lot of comments. Eternal Optimist, the pretty spiced rose I was wearing for my Fenty Slipshine swatches, and Clothing Optional, the Sienna Brown you can see in my Danessa Myricks and Oma Beauty video. Let me know what sort of colours you've been feeling this fall and if you spotted any favourites here. Are there certain shades you always reach for when the temperature drops, or do you love a brownie berry colour family basically all year round like me? I'd love to hear which products and tones have been standouts for you this season. Thanks for watching, see you next time.